morning everybody welcome back um, today <laughs> I want to tackle some of our scraps um, that I know we've all got I am frantic about all of the digitals um, that I've got printed out let me just give you a little peek this is like my shabby chic folder and you can just see I've got a pretty good stack there. I've got, this is all off cuts. I've got book pages. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm drowning in paper here. <laughs> so I thought, let's just tackle these things and um, let me share with you what I came up with. This is a book page pocket with a tag. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to do a, a duplicates, um, but this will just kind of share with you what I ended up doing. Because I thought this one I'm going to leave. I went ahead and finished, kind of finished the back just thinking it might be something that floats within a journal. Or it could be glued down permanent, but I thought I would at least give the option by going ahead and adding a bit of extra paper. And then on this you can see a lot of layering, stitching. Um, I just really, really want us to focus on all those little bits and pieces that you've got laying around without maybe thinking too much on it because I know myself, I, I get kind of stuck thinking, what do I make? And I just thought today, let's just grab some things and do a tag. <laughs> so what I've done, I've got some um, craft that I've cut into a tag, um, a big tag, and again, I've had um, numerous, you know, the project I just did with my um, patrons um, on, oh, hang on guys, let me make sure, I, the flourishing and sparkling level, we did a multi-pocket um, folio. So, again, I've got extra papers left over, and I really don't want to just throw these out. So, you know, while I've got the things out, my thinking is maybe I will try before I tidy up, because once I tidy up, I just don't ever seem to revisit things. I don't know about you guys. So, this is just an example. Um of what my thought process was and so I just gathered up some things you'll have to do some cutting obviously but I want, went ahead and cut some of these die cuts um, I'm planning in the future I said I wasn't going to do this again but I think um, to dwindle things down I think I might cut out some of the craft ones because the craft and the cream colored I can add color to it. I just, I really like those. I think it's worth doing that in advance. So let's just jump in, guys. Um, again, this is kind of just going back to adding texture um, within our projects. So I'm just going to get some of the paper on the background. It's going to be covered, but there will be some still peeking through. And I kind of thought this one would be kind of nice. Um, more of a rustic with the the craft whereas that one ended up vintage um, with some bits and pieces that I had left over I've just got um, a huge amount I think if you are a crafter you probably can relate and these like I said I'm not going to think too much about this guys I just really want to this is just a half half a doily. I just want to get things put together and use these supplies up. Got a little tag here and an extra bit of paper. I'm just going to cover that. And 
And this is just a little saying. I'm going to get that put down. And then just start building up from there anything I think is going to look. So I think I'll get the clock on the back and then I'll put those. These are the Tim Holtz wildflowers. So glad you guys can't see my studio. It is a wreck. <laughs> I'm going. I ordered a couple of things to do some organizing, and I think that's what I'm spend the remainder of the week trying to get things cut up and organized better. Um, that's my thinking. That's my thinking, guys. I'm going to put that down. That's just a leftover piece, but I kind of like it because it's got that writing on it. And these... And then if I want to... Um, Later, I can come back and add a little pocket for it. Okay guys, let me just grab a little bit of water. I should have had that. <clears throat> just two seconds while I get some water. I like how that's come out, but I want to add a little bit more to it. This is some frost white ink. I don't even remember. Ah, I do. This was stamping up ages ago. So I'm just going to see if I can flick. That's probably not going to be. And I'll get my. That's probably not the right kind of brush, really. Let me just get my heat gun, guys, and dry that. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, I've, <clears throat> excuse me, I've hit that with a little bit of heat. And you can see how that's come out. Just that little bit extra, I think, um, adds to it. I just um, tend to forget about the things I've got until I start digging through. <laughs> but yeah, that's worked out well. I was going to use my watercolors or some of the acrylic, but that just, I like that because it's got a little bit of um, metallic to it. So I'm just going to add a little 
little bit of ribbon and this one is ready and I'm like I said I'm not going to make a pocket for this one I'm going to wait and see if if I'm going to need a pocket going forward for this or not but that gives you an idea super super quick you could see how easily we did that I think the main thing is if if you can get some of these things cut out prior to, but that's what I'm going to spend some time doing this week. But I just want to start using up these scraps uh, where we can. So let's just go ahead and see. That's two very different, I would say, because that's vintage and that's, I think, more nature. So let me see. Let's do another one here. Again, <clears throat> just some scrap paper. This is a um, <clears throat> nostalgic graphic journal card. Isn't that cute? It's got the notes. I'm going to use it, but just tear some of this because I like that grid. I like the lines there. So I'm just going to tear this up and I'll save this. <laughs> oh gosh, don't you feel like you take one step forward and two back? Yeah, I like that. I'm going to put that there. Because I like the little notes. That's really pretty. And this one I will definitely do some sewing on. So let me see what else I've got I could add to that. Uh, here are some freebies from... Party maze. And I'm going to get a little bit of this tape measure. This is another freebie from her. As I said, I don't know if this is from the Facebook group or her website, but she has some really nice freebie guys. So do check her out if you haven't already. Isn't that a beautiful one? I'm tempted to try to... I don't want to cover up that. Let me see if I can do that. I'm going to try to just tear this out.
that's what I was afraid of that's going to cover because I don't want to cover that. Let me see if I can take a little bit more off. Okay. Um, I've got a couple of these little fussy cuts that does not match so I'm not going to use that one. Let me see if I tone it down if it'll match a little bit better. These were just off cuts of scrap paper and I thought I'd get a few shapes cut out prior to the video but it's not really the same color but I'm going to use it. It's it's close enough, I think. And again, you get all these little roses. So I'm going to cut a few of these. So what are you guys working on at the moment, or are you, have, are you taking a break? Are you in the middle of a big project, or maybe you're just working on some little things? i kind of like to know. Share in the um, comments below. I think... For the next few weeks, I'm going to be working on some small projects that we can do together. Um, the big... Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Um, the, lo you know, the long project that we just completed... Well, I do have the journal. We'll do the mini journal and the little bag, but then filling in... I'm going to share, you know, more of some small projects as well because with us in the middle of this move, I think it's going to be easier to, to get um, time to film those. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do one more just down here, and then I'm going to say I'm happy with that one. So yeah, lots of projects going on. Like I said, as far as journal-wise, I'm kind of backing off just temporarily until I get things kind of back in, into some kind of order. Okay, yep, like that.
try this again with a different brush here. Okay, that's better. That's a little bit better, I think, there. So I'm going to let that dry, but I will give you guys a close-up. Okay, so you can see the other one, much bigger drops. But the, actually, with it, in that one, I think it's fine. This one, I think I wouldn't have liked. But I love how that's come out. And then this one, I didn't put anything, but I'm actually thinking I'll, I'll go back and add a little bit because it just, I don't know, it just kind of finishes it off. So, okay guys, I hope that's inspired you to tackle that stash of papers. <laughs> We've got to get on, don't we? <laughs> so anyways, um, so that's kind of what's coming up. Um, bear with me, I'm still in the middle of, of, of a mess, but I am still working on things guys so uh, there will be more content coming very very shortly and like I said if you've got anything that you'd like to see in particular please let contact me or you know leave a message or you can contact me directly so I hope you guys have enjoyed that take care and I will be back very soon bye